Hello, and welcome to our first ever inaugural edition of the Game of the Week. We are live on Twitch, streaming at twitch.com forward slash normulator, and we are also going to be recording for YouTube. So welcome, YouTube, and thank you for joining us. Uh, every week we are going to be coming at you with a brand new fun and exciting run uh, bringing you deity strats and uh, good times. So if you're on YouTube, you're enjoying yourself, you can come visit us on Twitch. Uh, by all means, please feel free to uh, leave any messages you feel down below, as long as they're not too mean. But uh, I'm uh, going to read everything, good and bad. Uh, I want to improve and get better and uh, keep you guys happy and coming back for more. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's introduce yourself to the game that we'll be playing today. Uh, we're going to be doing what I would like to call a super synergy run uh, for great people, and we're going to be using Pedro to do it. Uh, Pedro has two extremely good uh, attributes, uh, which we'll be exploiting today. The first one is the Amazon, the Rainforest Tiles, providing plus one adjacencies to campus, commercial hub, all the sites, and theater squares. Uh, this will provide, as long as you're in the jungle, which we're starting in, uh, really, really great adjacencies really really great adjacencies uh so we'll taking advantage of that and the big one that we'll be taking advantage of for pedro is magnanimous uh nothing if magnanimous uh after recruiting a patronizing a great person 20 percent of the great person points are refunded so essentially this is like an instant 20 percent boost to every great person you're trying to gain so you don't go all the way down to zero you go down to 20 percent of what you just paid that's a huge, huge advantage. Uh, and in order to really do well, we're going to stack right on top of that every advantage we can. Okay. So we are going to, uh, there's the Classic Republic, which gives you 15% uh, bonus towards uh, Great Person Points. So we'll get to our first government as quickly as can. We'll get Classic Republic and we'll get those bonuses for a while. Uh, we're going to make sure that we get the Oracle. Fingers crossed. Uh, we'll try to get the Oracle which uh, gives uh, bonus points for your uh, districts in that city. Uh, we will make sure we get Pingala. Pingala gets you, with his third promotion, gets you 100% uh, uh, generation of great person points in a city. So we keep him in the city with the Oracle. It just compounds that up. And then um, the, uh, the last one, we will be getting Divine Spark for our Pantheon. Uh, at least that's the goal. AI doesn't typically actually even ever go for pan for that uh, particular Pantheon, so it's usually easy to get. Uh, but we will be getting that as well, uh, which again just gives you extra great people points for your uh, your campuses and your theater squares and that. So uh, we're going to just compound and try and get as many as we can uh, as far as points uh, towards uh, the great people. So, uh, yeah. That's that. So that's the run. Um, I've gone ahead and found ourselves a, a good starting position here uh, before the stream started in order to not um, have to spend a whole bunch of time doing Restart Simulator, trying to find something that we like. We found something we like, so now we're going to go. Uh, just a reminder to the folks on YouTube, I am live streaming on Twitch. I've been doing it for a little over a year now. I uh, have an amazing community here, and so I will be talking to them throughout the stream. So uh, you'll have to bear with me on that. Uh, I'll try to keep the flow going as quickly as I can and keep the uh, the timing uh, of the streams, or of the, sorry, of the videos around 40 to 45 minutes um, so that we can, um, so that they're easier to take, probably to upload three or four a day throughout the week. By the end of the week, you'll have that one done. Start a new one, okay? So um, let's have some fun. Uh, vote Pedro indeed. How you doing, Druid and Grandpa Zola? We're back. I'm doing good today, Grandpa. I'm doing better than I was towards the end of yesterday. Uh, that's for sure. And we're ready to have a good time and a good run. So uh, we're on a river, and we're going to be on a Plains Hill. Everybody here knows how much I love Plains Hills. We're settling to these. Get that two through start. Uh, I often go warrior because um, I just like I like going warrior early because they can defend themselves. But um, I've been trying to convince myself to go scout more often, and 
even though you know they scout finds a barb hut they can't beat it up they got to run away then you got to get somebody over there to beat it up so I, I I waver on this one, but I feel like I'm trying to convince myself that Scout's the better idea. So we're going to go with Scout. Uh, so thank you everyone for joining me, and uh, away we go. Uh, this little warrior, I'm going to go left here and see what we've got out to the side. And then I think what I'll do is, uh, when I get a Scout, uh, I'll just Scout this area out to the right here. And see what else we've got for us. And then, uh, yeah, it'll be easy. Uh, research, um, we're gonna have to get to bronze working relatively quickly because we need to be able to get rid of that rainforest before we can even start the oracle. Um, so, uh, that's gonna be something we need to get to quickly. Um, I am gonna go start with mining, and then we'll probably do these two before we get to bronze working. Uh, hopefully we can find barbarians to beat up on. Um, the reason I am gonna go with mining first is, uh, we'll probably... We, that's the only that's our one luxury that we're going to be able to do quickly is is a nice mine on top of that it's going to be some nice early culture as well which we love uh early culture getting through that culture that that tree is just phew, bueno beautiful 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 so uh we'll hopefully get that mine it extra production of course um that'd be great uh so without further ado let's go to turn two Oh, we found a river and a beautiful, beautiful luxury. Look at those tiles. Uh, it looks like we've probably at the top of the jungle, um, which is, I mean, that's fine. As, as long as there's some jungle to the south, we'll be okay. I apologize if the dog barks here in a second, but she's... Uh, so I make sure... So the dog's next door barks and she's underneath the table here. She can hear it, so she'll like walk out. Sometimes she starts barking before she's outside. But thankfully, uh, you know, she was in the kitchen when she started barking, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, do we need to get rid of the rainforest to get the oracle? Uh, can't you chop the forest too? Uh, yeah, I could. I could chop the forest to put the oracle. Uh, that's a good point. I, if I put the oracle up on this side, uh, the only thing is, is that I'll probably end up putting the oracle somewhere in the rainforest because I'm gonna want my theater square somewhere in here for the adjacencies. So unless, yeah, because I'm not gonna want to put the the theater square there because it's only gonna have one adjacency. I'm likely gonna want to put the theater square somewhere where there's lots of jungle around. So it, my guess is it would go, you know, somewhere in here, somewhere in here. Uh, we'll talk about Jason's he's coming up, but yeah. yeah. I could potentially put it there. Um, but the Oracle is fine. Like Most of the time, the Oracle doesn't go to like turn 60, turn 70. Um, I don't think we'll have any problem getting getting it by around turn 50-ish. Even with having to remove the jungle. Yeah. Yep, yep. Just We're just going to want more jungle around. Um, like even if we put... This is an example. Even if we put the theater square there... And the oracle there, just as an example. That's one, two, three adjacencies for the theater square before we put in the oracle, which would make it a five. So that's, you know, pretty nice. Uh, step on the hill. We're always wanting to step on hills. Oh, we're just getting all kinds of big stuff there. All right. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Wow. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, la, 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 la. So that up nicely. Um, I think I'm going to keep stepping on the hill. Uh, we got that mountain range quite consistent, which will help. Um, because it'll work like with campuses and holy sites. It works just as good as a jungle, right? So, um, like, so there's all kinds of plus six areas, you know, like a jungle right here. I mean, you could put it on. The, I could put it on the banana, but I'd ha I hate to lose bananas for the extra gold. But you could put, for instance, a campus right here, and that's a plus six. You could put something here to be like a plus five. Let's see what's going on there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, it's getting. This is pretty OP right now, Grandpa. Which is what we like to see. Uh oh, there's our pantheon for free. Yerevan. Uh, what are they like? Uh, Apostle units could choose any possible promotion. Oh, okay. 
we won't be going for religion anyway, but just, uh, oh, and what did they want for a, um, oh, it doesn't show you to next turn, I guess. I want to, oh, wait, there it is right there. Can't bring up that screen until next turn unless I do it this way. Great merchant. Okay, so we'll be able to get a great merchant at some point. Um, okay. Uh, okay, let's step to the bananas here. I just want to see what's kind of here so I can, I know what makes up my entire, um, our, our capital. And then I'll probably want to try and get to that river. Uh, and, and we will go settler second. Lined up perfectly now that we're pop two. Um, I'm just really hoping it moves to that culture tile versus that. They don't want to buy that. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Ba, 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 da, ba, 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 ba. Right here, so we've got the full line there. Uh, we'll cross over, I guess. Okay. Let's see what's down here. Uh oh. All right. Well, we've got a desert <laughs> and a very thin jungle through here, which is not great. We'll have to figure out our adjacencies somehow. Petra chat chat loves Petra they see three desert hills Petra stop everything you're doing and build Petra okay in this instance chat lab marks you're probably right <laughs> that is pretty nice and we like to see uh, a river as well because that will give us the fresh water See what's going on there. Uh, let's cross over here. Another goodie hut. Hmm. This is better than yesterday. Yesterday we we got two goodie huts the whole game. We were surrounded that game. That was feels bad, man, right there. The, and you know what's funny? I see this coast here. This actually makes me feel good, even though it kind of cuts you off sometimes. It's better than being cut off by by somebody else, by another sieve, you know. Um, plus, you know, if we can get to the coast, late game, um, will give us the opportunity to, uh, ooh, it will give us the opportunity to, uh, put down, uh, seaside resorts. Right, so. Yeah, yesterday, yeah, yesterday was our day off, right, Grandpa? When you find yourself in a hole, uh, let's go. Okay, cash, cash, we'll take it. More cash, okay. Certainly not, you know, build or scout or anything like that, but... Probably take it over faith. Oh yeah, it's a nice Petra city. I mean, even across the river here, so I mean, like, there's... You know, and there's some chops to be done, although we'd like to keep the jungle. Like, there's a plus four campus right there, actually. Um, my first inclination would be to settle the, uh, settle the amber. See what's going on over here. We do like to settle on the luxuries. Sometimes. Bop, bop, bop. There's some more culture. So, first declination on a city over here is probably something in here. We've got lots of jungle. So, maybe uh, one, two, three, maybe a city in here ish. And then another city up here. And then hopefully there'd be room for another city so we can kind of go like, you know, kind of squeeze them in, right? So, probably like a city there. All right, let's keep moving. Ooh wee! Kid show, it's going good, buddy. It's going good. Thanks for being here, man. Uh, luxuries, wonders, never cease. Uh, okay, and so as you can see here, I, uh, we did grow to the right tile. By the way, I just wanted to point that out. We grew to that one, so we're pulling in that culture. We're now at two point seven a turn, uh, which is going to put us. Turn 12, Code of Laws finished in turn of 15, instead of turn 15, which is really nice. 
Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Can you do two Petras? That'd be sweet. Uh, okay, so... Discipline is always the case. I have bonus experience on... Now, here's a strategy that you could actually try. Just something you could put out there. Actually, it wouldn't even matter because you get... No, it wouldn't even matter. I was going to say, we know we're about to see a wonder, right? We saw the tile. We could put on survey for double experience for recon units. But the only problem with that is, is I'm pretty sure finding that wonder is actually going to be a full promotion anyway. So doubling that wouldn't actually make a difference. But... If you'd already had one promotion and you were already waiting for the second one, which takes more, and you happen to see that and you happen to be able to change your cards out, putting survey on for a couple turns in order to double that experience, not a bad idea. But in this case, it, it wouldn't actually make a difference. Uh, God King, we often go with that early, but since we're getting that faith, plus two faith, um, we're going to pay it down real quick without having to worry about it. So we'll go with the production right away and uh, be happy. Um... And then we will, of course, go right to foreign trade. Second continent. Cross. Um, the other thing we need to do that we haven't done yet is look at our lenses. I normally look at my lenses a lot sooner than this, but I've been yakking away. Settler lens. Um, sometimes can be very helpful for if you're looking to see if you've got city-states and stuff around or other civilizations. We look pretty good there. But the really good one for looking for other people, other civilizations in particular, is if you go to the loyalty lens. And... Second. Okay, so there's nothing on this guy, so... It tells me that there's... I might have this to myself down here? Hey, stranger! What's going on, Jaddy? Uh, what a grand sight this must present in the wet sea. Astrology. Uh, Uluru. First from a major civilization. Okay. All right. First from a major civilization to find it. Uh, keep going up this coast. Another goody hut, and we found a continent. Right there. Alright, alright, so... Oh, get rid of that, sorry. Uh, things are looking good here. Uh, we are three turns from our settler. Next turn. Uh, we did get, we will be able to do a promotion. Uh, on this guy, I would think. Yep, we can. So I'm going to step to here and then do the promotion. Uh, you can always do a promotion. Which, as long as you have one movement left, you can always do a promotion. So as long as just take a step before you do it. Uh, I think I'll take Rainforest. Oh, Ranger. Uh, two turns on the Settler. Two turns to go to there. That's fine, I think. Uh, one extra food for two more turns. Hmm. It's not really all that valuable, especially since we're going to go back down to two population in two turns anyway. So you're literally, it's not worth 50 or 55 gold or whatever it would cost. 50 gold for two food. Literally two food. It's just not worth it. <clears throat> so jungle's not bad here. Should be able to do lots of good adjacencies in here. You know, for maybe a couple of cities. Uh, hopefully, maybe, like there's some jungles spattered around here, so maybe there's some jungle out here that'll treat us nice. Oh! Hello, Spain. Uh, it is an honor to meet you, but we do not want to exchange capital information. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That gives us our boost to writing. Uh, let me just have a conversation with you. Uh, let's send our delegation. Um, they have a minus five first impression, which isn't great. We can't send a trade route yet, so... Or not a trade route, but an open border, so... We did... I sent a delegation. Yeah, lab marks. I gotta remember. I gotta always gotta remember that, eh? Um... So that is good there. Um, we found ourselves a river. 
Looks like that desert kind of heads so Are they up here, maybe? Or are they... There's a seven. Oh, uh, maybe they're here. Builder. Nope. Boost to irrigation, though. That's nice, because we weren't going to be able to get a farm done. So we'll take it. We'll take that. Okay. Uh, next turn, Settler. We'll pop right into a monument. Always trying to push that culture early. Up this river. Woo-wee! Of all the culture city states, you want to talk about a culture? Mecca. First meat, that's going to boost our culture tree like a boss. But check this out. Trade routes to any city-state provide plus two culture and plus one gold for every specialty district in the origin city. So later in the game, you get if you have like four districts, let's say, that's eight culture and four gold for every trade route you send to a city-state. <gasps> you could really pound some culture late. Now, obviously, later game, we're going to want to be able to send our trade routes to all the other civilizations to boost our, our, uh, our tourism. But there's a point at which we should be able to get some city-state trade routes going with, with that Kamasi uh, suzerain. Uh, now, what do these guys want? These guys want... Destroy a barbarian outpost within five tiles. Okay. That's kind of... All right. Well, hopefully there's one... I've never seen that one before. I've seen destroy barbarian outposts. I don't think I've ever seen the save specifically within five tiles. I don't know. So we'll have to hope that we get one that spawns close, I guess. Um, let's keep moving north there along the coast. Got a few more jungles popping up here and there, so it's not too bad. Help with the adjacencies. Uh, let's head south here. Uh, I think I am going to settle this Petra city right away. Um, we've got some chops that'll help build the Petra itself. Um, that jungle, that'll be like a nice campus there. Um, we'll figure out the adjacencies overall, but... Um, this is a really good city. I think this is the place to go because I'll be able to pick up all of this and a lot of this. So, um, that's a great, 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 great spot right there. I could go here even, but then as soon as I go here, I lose all of that. And I don't know if I want to lose that much for a couple of flat culture faith tiles, which it certainly looks like all of this is going to be all flat just from the graphic. Um, the hills are definitely here, and then maybe more in here, but anyway, um, I think that's definitely the way to go. Am I aiming for Chichen Itza? You know, I wasn't specifically thinking about it for sure. Uh, Chichen Itza, for those of you who don't play a lot of deity, is extremely difficult to get on, um, on deity. Uh, pushing all the way up to guilds. They get such a huge head start on D on uh, on deity the the AI and they want they build it so quick like as soon as they get to guild like it just gets built a lot of times when it gets built I'm still sitting back here now that being said we've got some culture tiles early we've got that first meet so we got culture we, we're pushing through this culture tree super quick we're gonna get through this thing super super quick we found a continent even which is fantastic so we're we're pushing through this really 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 fast. If we can get some of these uh, boosts and get there, uh, I'm certainly not going to count it out. I'm not going to count it out, obviously, but well, we'll see what happens. Uh, okay, that's not that's not good. We don't like that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. There should be one within five tiles of them already. Oh, oh, a burp hut within five tiles of of their town. I thought it was this saying with pill of a bar pot within five tiles of your city, maybe. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not going to be able to get an army over there to do any of that. Yeah, I'm going. I'm coming to the Petra City first um, to get it moving, uh, and then I'll pro. Well, I got to see what's going on up here, but th there's some really nice cities over here. I should definitely get going. This this might be city two here, maybe. Um, 
or sorry, City 3, Settler 2, maybe go there. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is we will, like, City 2, and then, but we won't get any more Settlers done until Oracle's done, so we won't be even hitting Settlers probably to like, turn 50-ish, which kind of, eh, isn't the greatest, but... Um, if you're going for an early, if you're going for an early wonder, you often have to give up a lot. It's like, so. Ooh, Coco. We don't have Coco yet, do we? <gasps> We're getting all the good wonders today. Or all the good wonders. All the good luxuries. Diamonds in the jungle. Coco in the jungle. Amber. Amber was grain, baby. Uh, do -do -do -do. which city spot are you going for? You don't know. How good the desert wonder? How good the desert with wonder is? Oh, here? Oh, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I got one. I'm, I'm gonna probably go right on the amber. I, I'm pretty much sold on the amber. There's, there's too many hills here. I don't want to give them up. It's already one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Petra hills on a settle there, Incl and then also this over here. Um. I, this is this kind of sells me on where I'm going. Once I step on that hill, I'll have a little bit more information. But I'm guessing um, I'm probably just gonna go straight there. It's ext I, yeah, I don't want it. Like I I can't imagine there's anything down here. You can tell this is all flat right here, just by the graphic, right? You can see that those next tiles are all gonna be flat. So I can't imagine there's anything that would make like make me want to go anywhere in this direction to give up all of this because this might even be a desert hill here as well well that's actually under range forget it uh so yeah or that's eight hills right there alone i i, I can't see myself giving that up <clears throat> next turn i need the scout to go in the other direction please no okay uh we'll go in this direction God, i hope that scout doesn't bug me <clears throat> uses yeah i lose that but it's a flat sheep even i think right or is that a hill is that a hill yeah it is a hill you're right you actually do lose that but i don't want i the, to get that i have to settle on top of this and then you'd lose a bunch of nice culture and fades out here so yeah i'm okay losing that that's not in range of the capital right no i was gonna say that's a plus four campus although i'll be able to get a plus six campus Um, hmm. See, it's enticing. I could actually get all the way to here because I can get through the jungles. It's enticing to head that way. To, but I also want to kind of take a look at what's going on north of my city. It's, yeah, it's it's too... This is... To follow that river, maybe look for more city-states is kind of appealing. But I really got to learn what's going on up here north of me. Um... No man ever wetted clay. There's another diamond. And a deer. We love deer. Deer's tasty. I'm really nervous about that freaking barbarian though. Animal husbandry. And then hopefully we can find ourselves some... Uh, Bar barbarians. Uh, noose bomb is CQI. I don't know. I don't. And last time I heard, I it doesn't. I don't actually tend to use it. I'm not a big fan of it myself. I know that's sacrilege for most people, but it's not actually my thing. Um. But yeah. Uh, oh no! He's gonna dosi do me. Son of a bitch. Oh my god. Please don't follow me. Um I wonder if I went down here. I might be able to get him to walk away. Shoot. He'll step there, I'll step there. I don't know. I might be able to get him to back away. He'll probably just go in this direction anyway. I don't think I'm gonna have to go all the way around. He's gonna chase me, I think. Damn it. 
All right, uh, that's going to slow down. Okay, we got to keep an eye on this because that's going to slow down our population growth to six. Although, what's our capital at? Okay, yeah, it's still only two. Okay. Hey, Esther, what's going on, bud? But yeah, Newsbomb, it's been months. I don't know. I don't know anything about CQI if people are working on it or not. Not normally have any information for you on that, man. Uh, so Divine Spark is going to be our pantheon. Um, there's lots of amazing ones available, I'm sure. Uh, although uh, Faith from Appeal is actually gone. Uh, and actually, whoa. So the two, the two of the ones I would normally often take are both gone. Harvest and Appeal are both gone. Uh, Oral Tradition is very nice. It actually would be decent in our certain our current circumstance with the uh, with the bananas and stuff. Although, I guess we just have bananas, right? We don't have silk. Yeah. But anyway, Oral Tradition can be nice to help if you're not getting any other culture at the beginning of the game. Grabbing Oral Tradition just for that you know, four, five, six early culture can really, if you, if you got the situation, it can be really strong to help push you through, which you're not taking forever to get to that first government. Um, I had never considered the food ones unless you've got a horrible start, in which case, why not just restart? <laughs> uh, very rarely I'll take the, the, the reeds and marshes. Culture from pastures is also another one. If you got a bunch of pastures laying around, that's a nice way to get early culture becomes kind of insignificant later like six eight ten cultures not really all that important turn 150 but uh and also production from fishing boats uh if you're playing like an archipelago but we are going to go with divine spark because that's the synergy that is the synergy uh that was fast plenty of culture city states i guess Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I don't know. That is very fast for those to have gone. Turn twenty. I got there pretty quick. Two per turn. Um, I might. I mean, I could have very well just barely missed them, right? So, step bump. Okay. Uh, yeah, I may have very well just barely missed them by a turn or whatever, right? So, um, in fact, it looks like I did because I I was actually over. I was going two per turn. I got four per one. So there was two people I had to actually wait on because only one person can choose a Pantheon each turn. And you can see here that I was actually, I'm over, I was over by 4.1. So two turns ago, I had enough, but it kept kicking me to the back of the line because somebody else was jumping in. So those are probably the first two to go and they often are the first two to go. So that's, I probably just missed them. If I'd have ran God King, I'd have had it easy. Say la vie. I'm just gonna let these guys bang into me. I'm on a hill, so uh, I don't think I'm gonna kill them. Damn it! Well, anyway, well he'll chase me all the way around. And I'll get in there. I'll just be late. I'm gonna have to keep a really close eye on early empire uh, promotion. Uh, we just did monument. I think we'll grab the trader. I always like to get the trader right away. ASAP. Um, that's just traders just free production food gold whatever you want so you, you don't want to give it up okay we just killed him he's dead uh, this is ideal terrain here right yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that here the hut and let him hit me on ideal terrain and that'll actually get me that'll actually get me uh, that'll be three barb kills right because that was the that was one that'd be two and then we killed this guy here um, I think I'm gonna come in here and heal and then I'll start going straight north and clear that out do I trust the Spanish not to grab my settler yeah not very often do they grab the free settler 
Unless they're like already denounced you, but they won't. If unless they've denounced you, they won't go to a surprise war like that very often at all. There's your bronze working. The scout's actually probably gonna come over here and give me a far. Oh, and there's a there's a goodie hut there. Goodie hut. Uh, all right, trader. We've got pop three. I'm assuming we're using this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I gotta keep an eye again on early empire. We're at pop three in six turns. Pop four. Yeah. Normally we'd have our second city down. We got delayed there quite a bit. Ocean available. Play. Boom. Um, I'm going to let him heal in city. Next turn. If there are no dogs in it. Okay, one more turn, I'll turn early empire off. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna get the population here before two two long. Uh hmm. I think I need to go builder. Yeah. Because I'm about... Okay, yeah. Cause let me just do the math here a sec. We've got bronze work, so 14 turns. I want to do a mine on this. I'm going to have to do my my district. I'm thinking, I'm thinking this is probably the best. There's not a lot out here. I'm thinking the campus is a plus six here. And the holy site is a plus five there. And then the commercial hub can go maybe here. One, two, three, four. So that's a very good spot for the commercial hub. And then I could always like maybe throw an entertainment complex there to give another adjacency to the commercial hub like way later. That's I'll, I'll map that out in a minute. Uh, I think I'm going to found the city. Oh yeah, look at that. Even Grab even more hills over here. Oh, man. Monument is always the first thing we build in any new city under almost every circumstance. So uh, this will be pop two in seven turns. This will be pop four in four turns. So in seven turns, we get the boost to early empire. Uh, so next turn, we will get rid of that little sliver and be ready to go. What is... Oh, the trader. That's weird. That was kind of broken. Not really. Oh, it's just not highlighting it for some reason. Um, I want my capital to go, go, go. I really want my capital to go, go, go. So I'm going to go ahead and put it. I'm actually going to do the trade route with the capital. This city is going to be very strong. It's got some nice growth tiles, some production tiles. Uh, I'm not worried about this tile at all. Or this tile, this town at all. So I'm actually going to let the, the, the capital uh, get that first trade route. Um, just to help boost this stuff along and make that. Because, again... We are going to be uh, turn 50-ish before we can start popping out more settlers. Uh, I apologize, my good man. I really do. Bottom of my heart. Won't happen again. Wait a minute. Is he south? He must be down here. Oh, yeah, because I was thinking he was up here and that ended up being Kamasi. Yeah, I guess he did have a unit down there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, he doesn't have anything close enough to that, but you can see it here. Okay. And his military is not small, so we're going to have to get on top of the slingers and uh, no messing around. Let's get north. Uh, you grab that. <laughs>Look at that, Rochiel. Thank you very much for that, buddy. Appreciate it. With the uh, Twitch Prime. Amazon Prime users, you should know. What just happened? Oh, I just got another scout. I got distracted. Rochiel, thanks for being here, buddy, and thank you very much for the Twitch Prime. It has been a while. It has been a while. Prime decided you had to wait an extra month. Stupid Prime. Stupid Prime. No. 
I appreciate it though, buddy. It means the world that uh, you spend it here. It means a lot. Uh, News Bomb, thank you for the follow. And welcome. Good to have you here as well. Uh, we just got a settler, obviously, or a settler, a scout out of that goodie hat. I was like, why do I, I've already moved my scout here. Why is there another scout here? Uh, I think I'm going to move this guy over here, maybe, along the river. Let's go there first. Um, six turns. Okay, so we, before we forget, you guys tried to distract me with the, the follows and the subs. We tried to do it. Uh, we need the uh, mysticism. Uh, we'll grab the oracle, and then we'll move up here. Worth it for all the time I've been lurking. Yes, Lurk City. Thank you very much for that, bud. My delay is insane. Um, my guess what is going on is that your internet is poop. That's my guess. You're right, if you really want to know what's going on. So, we settled the city. I think that's got to be getting pretty close to about 40 minutes there. Um, we're going to try and keep the videos around 40, 45 minutes, YouTube. Because uh, I know that's what you guys like over there. Uh... I don't know what to tell you, Chatty. Try a refresh, man. My delay shouldn't be more than two or three seconds, bud. Uh, if anybody else is having a problem with it, I don't know. Maybe it's Twitch. But my uh, I haven't dropped a frame all day. So. There you go. Labmarks is in Finland. He's got 5.2 second delay. 5.2 second? 5.6 second? second? YouTube, uh, this has been episode one of the inaugural edition of Game of the Week. I hope you're enjoying uh, please feel free to leave some comments down below. Uh, good or bad, let me know what you like, let me know what you don't like, and I'll try to make them better. Hope you're enjoying the run, and we will see you next time.